The history of the Greek ruby tiara, like the emerald tiara, also begins with Queen Olga. After she married King George L of Greece in 1867, he is said to have bought one pigeon blood ruby each year for their wedding anniversary. Eventually, he ordered a magnificent set of gemstones in the shape of a laurel wreath, chosen as the symbol of ancient Greece. It became an heirloom and was presented by Queen Frederica to her daughter-in-law, Princess Anne-Marie, on her wedding day. Pictured, Queen Anne-Marie paired with a Greek ruby, 2004. In 1905, the Duke and Duchess of Connaught visited Egypt, where their eldest daughter, Princess Margaret, fell in love with Crown Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden and married him a year later. As a wedding gift, the Khedive of Egypt and Sudan ordered Cartier a tiara in platinum and diamonds with a Margaret pattern. Princess Theodora, the youngest daughter of Queen Anne-Marie, who plans to get married this year, must have her eye on it. Pictured, Princess Alexis of Greece on her wedding day wearing this tiara, 1999. This tiara, which belonged to Queen Victoria of Sweden, was originally a corsage ornament made up of sections of diamond leaves with pearl drops. Her granddaughter Queen Ingrid of Denmark inherited the piece and turned it into a tiara for her daughter Princess Anne-Marie for her 18th birthday. The diamond pearl heirloom is a family favorite and was lent to Marie Chantal, Tatyana Blatnik and Nina Flor to wear on her wedding day. Pictured, Princess Tatiana wearing an antique corsage tiara, 2013 The Miller Fringe Tiara is relatively new to Greek royal jewelry vaults and was reportedly purchased at auction by Crown Princess Marie Chantal's parents. The classic design with its diamond fringe mimics the headpiece of a kokishnik. The tiara was worn only by Marie Chantal until her daughter, Princess Olympia, wore it to Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark's 50th birthday party in Copenhagen. The tiara was rumored to have been given to the princess for her christening by her grandparents her mother wanted to wear it until Olympia reached the age of 18. Pictured are Crown Prince Pavlos and Princess Marie Chantal, 2012. The jewels that make up the Greek emerald Perur were originally given to Grand Duchess Olga, granddaughter of Nicholas I, when she married King George I of Greece at age 16. Her grandson King George II and his wife, Queen Elizabeth, later transformed the stones into a kokishnik style tiara with a diamond mirroring the letter E, her initials, between the emeralds. Queen Frederica of Greece wore a brooch from this set to the wedding of Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh in 1947 and, in turn, gave it to the 18-year-old Princess Anne-Marie, who wore the tiara in her first official portrait before her wedding.